All right, you beautiful peoples of the internet. So Glyn here, and uh, this is going to be a short extract from um, a much longer video that I will be uh, dropping on the interwebs in the next day or two. And essentially, this is uh, just to give you some um, background of what's happened here. I've reinstalled my PlayStation 5, so I've reinstalled the SSD. So basically, I've blank slated the SSD. And all I'm doing now is playing Gran Turismo from the external hard drive. So there's nothing installed on the internal SSD apart from, I believe, one gigabyte of data goes on there. So just by playing Gran Turismo 5, uh, sorry, Gran Turismo Sport, just by playing that game, it then goes and dumps 5.4 gigabytes of data into the internal SSD. So basically, this is proof of concept of bloat data bloat hitting the SSD the internal SSD and all you have to do is play a game play any game from any of your hard drives or external hard drives and it will dump data into your internal SSD now the amount of data it dumps depends on the game like I said I found that Gran Turismo is one of the biggest data dumpers and it dumps about 5.4 gigabytes of data into your into your internal SSD I notice that games like Division 2 dump about one gigabyte. Elder Scrolls Online dumps about one gigabyte. And I think Destiny 2, I noticed last night, seemed to, I don't know the exact figure, but Destiny 2 seemed to dump about four or five gigabytes as well. But of course, if you've got lots of games and you're playing lots of different games, that data soon builds up. And as you've seen from probably my previous video, at one point I had over 150 gigabytes of built up data which now i've got rid of which will be in the following video which will be a long very boring very convoluted video i've made this a much shorter one just as proof of concept of data bloat on ssd because i see that my video is getting a little bit more um a lot, lot more views than normal and obviously people are asking and wondering questions and um wondering what have i done to try and solve this so essentially i've wiped my PlayStation 5 SSD clean and now I'm just all I've done now is playing the game from the external hard drive just to prove that SSD bloat is real it is a problem um, most people won't worry about it too much if you're only playing maybe 10 or 15 different games throughout the year or if you're like me and you, you you play a lot of different games you know throughout the year I might play more than a hundred games i might play even more than that um as i do and as when i do this is going to add a load of data onto my internal ssd basically choking up the internal ssd anyway with that said and out the way and all this context in thing i'm just going to play the little clip of uh of me playing gran turismo and then proving that it goes from one ter uh, one gigabyte on the internal up to over six gigabytes of data stored just by starting the game. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Bye now. Right, so there's no games or apps in console storage, but we still managed to pick up one gigabyte from somewhere. Other, won't let me look in there. Media and save data have all disappeared. Uh, extended storage that's all still got all the gear in it so fortunately it didn't delete the extended storage but has deleted the internal SSD Right, anyway, without the internal SSD, it doesn't really matter for what I'm going to prove here because we can just use the external hard drive. And essentially, I now need to games library. And I'm now going to play Gran Turismo Sport. So as we saw, we it gone from 10 megabytes up to a gigabyte. I'm going to let me write that down. So uh, games and games and apps. After reinstall was one gigabyte or thereabouts now we're going to do play gran turismo a b c d e f 
There it is. Right, we're starting up Gran Turismo. We're going to play the game. Of course, I'll have to insert the disc. Right, play the game. We don't actually have to play the game. All we need to do now is, uh, let me just change this back. So I should have been on this screen when I inserted the disc, but the disc has gone in. I think by now you pretty much know what we're trying to do here. So the found us so we'd like to download it. Yes, download that data, please. Done. Thank you. Right, okay, as far as I'm concerned, the game has started. We now close the game. And now we'll go and check. Bring this back up to full screen. We'll now go and check what we've got in our storage. And, it, and as we can see here, look, a Volvo game is stored in the external USB storage. It is now dumped. And we're now looking at um gt after play 6.47 6 so essentially five five point four gigabytes has come from the external hard drive and gone on to the internal so if anything there i prove that there is hardware um there is software bloat on the ssd internally all right guys so thank you for watching the video if you got it this far i hope that now just proves to you that ssd bloat is a problem it does exist and it is on all ps5s it doesn't matter my ps5 isn't any different to your ps5 and if you follow my example here of just installing the game on a separate hard drive then going checking your data that's on your internal drive then just playing that game for the first time then rechecking the internal hard drive you'll see that the numbers will jump up just by playing the game once um, it won't go up again every time you play the game it'll just go up by the amount that it wants to dump a great test is Gran Turismo because it's quite a large um, quite a large gigabyte number it's 5.4 so thank you for watching the video let's roll the outro bye now